little bit of trivia to start. What cultural juggernaut got its start in 1984, posted its first videos to the internet in 2006, and clocks in an average of 1.5 million views per day? TED Talks. TED Talks actually did get its start in 1984 as an in-person conference um, to explore and spread ideas uh, between areas of technology, entertainment, and design. It wasn't a great success at first, but the conferences came back and picked up steam as an annual event starting around in the 90s. And in 2006, they did post their first six 18-minute long videos to the internet. Within three months, those six videos had been viewed a million times. And by 2012, TED Talks celebrated their one billionth view. And I can only imagine that it's much larger now. TED Talks are no longer solely about technology, entertainment, or design. They include nearly any topic you can find of interest, but they are limited to 18 minutes. So if you're looking to take a deeper dive into a topic, you'll need to check if there is a book to give you that depth of information. So if you're ready to dive in, grab your fins and your goggles and get ready to take the plunge. Here are three books based on TED Talks and their presenters. So first up is and based on the TED Talk of the same name is My Stroke of Insight by Dr. Jill Bolte-Taylor. Uh, Dr. Taylor holds a PhD in neuroanatomy and at the age of 37, she experienced a massive and debilitating stroke. Both her TED Talk and her book relate her unique experience of being an expert in brain anatomy and function and documents from moment to moment the effects of her stroke from onset of symptoms through her years long recovery. Uh, next up, and based on the TED Talk uh, of a similar name, is someone whose name may be familiar to you if you're interested in business and leadership books or topics. Uh, Simon Sinek's presentation and book, Start With Why, How Great Leaders Inspire Everyone to Take Action, poses the idea that companies and even individuals may be thinking incorrectly in how they think about or express their purpose. As he says, most companies start with telling what they do and even how they do it, but it's knowing the why they do what they do that makes all the difference to communicating clearly their purpose. And lastly, <laughs> Lastly, I have the latest book from Celeste Headley, uh, who presented a TED Talk titled 10 Ways to Have a Better Conversation. Her latest book, Do Nothing, How to Break Away from Overworking, Overdoing, and Underliving, is a broad analysis of our society's focus on efficiency, time management, and obsession with productivity. And it presents the idea that these values we hold may be hurting more than helping us. Um, her book also outlines ways in which we can reverse that trend of being over busy. Her previous book and the book behind her TED Talk, How to Have Better Conversations, uh, is on order and it will be here soon. So the next time you're going down another rabbit hole on the internet and you come across a TED Talk that grabs your interest, it could be worth your while to check if the presenter has a book and then a handy check of our catalog to see if we have it in in-house or online. So till next time, happy reading and make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next, <laughs> the next installment of To Read or Not To Read.